if you were alive then and living in this city, uh, this was, you know, so high profile. There was so much publicity. And frankly, it tore the city apart. What are the lessons of one of the most notorious crimes in recent New York history? The public frenzy to assign blame and the wrongful convictions of five innocent teenagers. Cardozo Law hosted a symposium organized by Professor Ellen Yaroshevsky this spring to discuss that very question. If you remember back to 1989, for those of you who were alive and kicking then, um, New York felt like a very different place. Our focus is really going to be to think about and take us through what are the lessons of this case. In 1989, New Yorkers were horrified by a crime that came to be known as the Central Park Jogger Case. A 28-year-old woman was brutally beaten, raped, and left for dead in the park. Within hours, police investigators had apprehended a group of five teenagers who had been in the park and accused them of the crime. And the, and the cops did say that the kids were sitting unconcerned, arrogant, cold-bloodedly in the precinct without um, any sign of remorse for the terrible things they had done, and particularly nearly killing this woman. There was a belief that, you know, there was this whole class of young, you know, juvenile predators uh, that were remorseless and attacking people, and these poor young men became the, the poster children for this. Fear of crime in New York City in 1989 was an incredibly powerful, motivating factor for people. And I think that that affected to a great deal how the media responded, why they were so quick to believe everything that the police told them without any of the kind of journalistic skepticism that should have been required of them. Um, and I think the public bought that story for the same reason. In 2002, after years in prison, their sentences were vacated by the district attorney after known serial rapist Matthias Reyes confessed to the crime and DNA evidence confirmed he was the attacker. The panel says that today, law enforcement and other legal professionals can learn much from the case. Well, one lesson is how we take confessions that the police department has got to change its methodology. It cannot examine people in a way without being tape recorded. We need to tape record people from the beginning of their contact with, with the police so that ultimately a jury or a prosecutor can see exactly what, what happened. Another good lesson that we can learn from this case is the development of what we call conviction integrity and its independent people in a district attorney's office that will look at cases where there's a plausible uh, proof that there was a miscarriage of justice, because that did happen. And of course, there's a lot to learn about the press coverage um, and the toxic atmosphere that uh, uh, really seized this city at the time of the case. The symposium was part of the Cardozo Talks lecture series. Hopefully we're creating an atmosphere, a rich atmosphere, where people learn a great deal. They're not just exposed to classroom learning, but they're exposed to what goes on in the culture and what goes on in real life. And we were hopeful and we know through history that that's had a significant Im impact upon all of our students.